We're joined now by the star of our last report, Andreas Vanner. Thank you very much for joining us here at Tomorrow Today. Um, now, you're heavily involved in this project. Did you yourself help to get it off the ground? Well, yes, I do my job as an institute director, but uh, most of the direct work are doing my colleagues and the cooperation partner within this work. Okay. Now, you have actually taken a number of flights, correct? Yes. You have. Um, what were the preliminary results like? Well, you see, we did measurements over the Netherlands and we did measurements over North Italy. And there are a lot of them. And the results is that we had a whole, range, a whole bunch of measurements of many compounds within the lower two kilometers of the atmosphere in several flights. And most importantly, we measured also the active agent, which is doing the self-cleaning in the atmosphere, the hydroxyl radicals. So this is exciting research information. Um, However, can this knowledge actually help the industry to improve its emissions profile? Well, the whole project is uh, uh, situated that uh, it will help the European Commission, so the politics, to find out new regulations for emission control, emission regulations for industry and cars and automobiles. So it is actually helping shape the policy of Europe, which is fantastic. But uh, so it's not only a theoretical thing. Now, can you imagine, for example, applications in the future for improving air quality? Oh, yeah. But, uh, it depends how climate will change. I mean, that is the real new thing that uh, we not only need at the current situation of climate have regulations, but the climate will change, temperature will increase, we will have different uh, uh, conditions and so the atmospheric self-cleaning will change and for that we need the models for the future and understanding the processes how to, what to reduce most effectively under the, of the emissions. Okay now you've worked in this area for at least 10 years yourself um, why is it that we know so relatively little about this part of the atmosphere that you're now taking the studies on? Well it is the case that uh, we didn't have a platform so far to investigate it with a whole bunch of measurements. We have one ton of equipment on the Zeppelin mm -hmm. and measure several species at the same time. And this platform wasn't available before. Okay, um, and how did you come up with the idea to... Well, the Zeppelin was constructed uh, 2000, in the year 2000. And so that was the first part of it. And there we jumped on and saw, oh, that's a good platform. Okay. Now, your project focuses on the air in very specific countries and uh, specific air layers as well. Why those countries and uh, those air layers? Oh, we uh, looked in the beginning of a project what are areas with emissions which are um, uh, similar for Europe or representing the air conditions in uh, Europe. And there we had these three areas, the Netherlands, the northern Italy with very hot climate and biogenic emissions and industry emissions. And next year we'll go to Finland where we have mainly biogenic emissions. Okay, well, Anders Vanner, thank you very much for joining us here at Tomorrow Today. It's my pleasure.